Yeah, we could all use a laugh now more than ever, but with comedy clubs closed and comedians stuck at home, we asked a few of our favorites how they're getting by. It's not easy. Stand-up Dwayne Goad has had to resort to drastic measures. I've been calling strangers every morning when I wake up and telling them jokes. I don't know who you are, but we're not interested. Don't call again. Okay, well, I drove in a carpool lane yesterday by myself because I'm a bad boy. While comic Andrew Rivers is rebelling on the empty freeways, you can still practice good hygiene. Mary Kobayashi stays housebound. It's hard to stay in good spirits during a quarantine, so make jokes, but remember to keep it clean. No, you can't have any of these. I actually have plenty of toilet paper, but um, my grocery store was out of almond milk, so that's been rough, because uh, regular milk causes me to use too much toilet paper. Well. This is quarantine. Kent native Rebecca Corey of Last Comic Standing and Stand Up for Pits is actually doing just fine. I've never been happier. Uh, I've been social distancing since birth because uh, because humanity grosses me out. Jose Bolaños of Move in 92.5 wonders why some things never change. One thing stays the same. In Seattle, there is no parking. I haven't been as terrified of my own hands since my last acid trip. Your social distancing is cramping graphic artist Leah Tashone's morning stroll. Uh, I just wanted to mention that I invented walking. These are my streets, go home. And home is where we all are. What a better opportunity than to bond with my son. I taught him how to hunt, track, and catch his own toilet paper. Life's not so bad when you stay put and stay calm. Stay safe. I don't know what's going on anymore. Don't hug anybody. <laughs>